It is March 15, 2018. I want to thank my subscriber for leaving the link below to Dutch Senses video. And I want to thank all of you guys for sending me articles and videos and leaving links below my videos. I'm having trouble keeping up with an awful lot that's taking place, but I click on your links and I, I check out the videos. And while I can't post anything like I used to post, I appreciate being, well, kept up with this sick world that we are living. So obviously sick. I saw a comment below my video that I posted earlier today. Or no, it was the Alexa video that I just posted. Alexa is laughing and listing funeral parlors my God, how in your face could it be? Laughing at us. Listing funeral parlors. Because they're killing us off. Yes, Alexa was programmed to do just that. This is an incredibly evil world. So I get this comment from an atheist who says, Is there evil? Uh, that's not verbatim, but it, it was a question mark. Yeah, there is evil. You don't need to believe in God or or believe in God. It it doesn't matter. There is evil. It is so obvious. And denying denying that evil exists allows it to flourish. So, you've got to face it square on, right smack in its face. YouTube is partnering, partnering up with Wikipedia and let Dutch tell you a little bit about this project that they have going. Yeah, unfortunately, on the whole, the American people are dumbed down enough to let YouTube and Wikipedia tell you the truth. See, evil wants to bury the truth. Evil wants to bury the truth. And you know what? When you have a population that actually allow, that you, that you permit Susan Woshecki or whatever the hell her name is, the CEO of YouTube, when you allow Google, YouTube, Wikipedia tell you what the truth is and you don't go any further to do the research on your own to learn really what the truth is. You are letting really sick, psychopathic, evil people manipulate you right into the evil. Lying is evil. It's an evil act. You know, so when you look at, well, just make everything simple. It comes down to good versus evil. So, when you lie, you throw yourself on the evil side. When you tell the truth, you throw yourself on the good side. When you accept lies, you throw yourself on the evil side. When you stand up, to the liar and confront them on their lies, you throw yourself on the good side. It really is that simple. Hello, hello, everybody. It is 4.13 p.m. Central Time on the 15th of March, 2018. And we are here on the Earthquake 3D live stream it is Thursday going into Friday internationally, and I hope you're doing well. Jumping on here, guys, we've got a pretty serious situation that I need to address, and we're going to be titling this as a video once I'm done here on the live stream to the live audience as a response video to Susan Wojcicki, the CEO of YouTube, in regards to the new rules that are going to be going into effect where YouTube is partnering up with Wikipedia to verify what are quote-unquote conspiracy theories and YouTube is going to be offering 
their own opinions on videos pertaining to conspiracy theories and offering links to Wikipedia to contradict or to verify, but mostly to contradict, I would assume, the conspiracy theories that Susan Wojcicki said she's going to start using the Wikipedia site. And we're going to go over, and I need to turn on a display capture here because this is very concerning to me. We're going to jump over to the news, and here's Susan Wojcicki, and she's talking about how YouTube will add information from Wikipedia to video about conspiracies. And she references, and you guys are welcome to go look this up yourself, what she talked about, but she references using the Wikipedia list of conspiracy theories. And we're going to go over there, we're going to click on that, go over to Wikipedia now. We're going to go down the list, and we got to find something that's on the towards the top of the list. And uh, we're getting down here now, you go, you'll notice there's several things on here. Black helicopters, chemtrails, uh, Korean Airlines flight 007 MH17. The oil spill, BP, Deep Water Horizon oil spill, new Coke. You can't even talk about Coca-Cola and how Coke may have done something to pump their other products. And we need to get down here. We'll go past the New World Order, which apparently is a conspiracy theory. Uh, okay. Uh, I, we have world leaders talking about it in quotes, the New World Order. But we'll go down here, and what we have to talk about here is under the science topic. They have science conspiracies on here. And it's kind of down towards the bottom. We got medicine, science, and technology. Now we get in here and we have to address this. Weather and earthquake control projects. Numerous theories pertain or to real or alleged weather controlling projects. Theories include the debunked assertion, assertion that HARP, a radio technology research program funded by the U.S. government, is a secret weather controlling system. Now we need to stop right there. That's not a conspiracy theory. I can prove it. 100% beyond a shadow of a doubt, Wikipedia is wrong. Susan Wojcicki, you just opened a can of worms by now dropping the harp bomb on the rest of us. I have something to show you all. The U.S. military says that harp can control the weather. They said this back in 1997. That's why everybody thinks it can control the weather. It's not a conspiracy theory. Let me take you over to the DTIC.mil document. Now, it's over here on Scribd on my site, but I'll take you back in the Wayback Machine. Okay. I'm going to stop this here. I will put the link to Dutch's video and click on it. And yes, I, I'm, there are so many military documents. There are so many scientific papers that prove that man can control the weather. And we have an awful lot of evidence that man has been controlling the weather. But no, Americans are going to go to Wikipedia and find links from Susan Wyshicki. I don't even know how to pronounce her name, and I don't care. I mean, I, it, look, these people are so repulsive. But you know what is scary? What is really scary is that they've actually gotten to the point where they can do this. That's what's scary. They have gotten to the point where they can do this and Google can, uh, well, it's known now that Google is manipulating their searches and Facebook and Google and Yahoo, all of these news sites are manipulating the news. We know that mainstream media lies all the time and they are the reporters of fake news. It is known and yet we still have Americans who are not outraged by what is taking place here. Silence. Crickets, you hear. If you really love truth, regard it as sacrosanct. Nothing comes before it then you might be feeling like me today. Just absolutely sick to your stomach with all of the obvious lies and the burying of truth.